Hello and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can create this comic book text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. First I'll remove everything from the artboard. We need an ellipse. Select the ellipse tool, click on the artboard, 490 pixel and 290 pixel. Click OK. Let's center this ellipse to the artboard. Let's remove the stroke and remove the fill color. Go to appearance, click on add new fill. Let's remove this fill too. Select this fill layer, go to effect, distort and transform and zigzag. Choose a size of 11 pixel, ridges per segment 3. Click on smooth and then click OK. Click this fill layer, go to effect, distort and transform for current blot. Choose a minus 35%, then click OK. Select the fill layer, duplicate this and change the color. Click OK. Now keep selecting this layer, go to effect, path and offset path. Choose a minus 10 pixel offset path. Click OK. Now select this black layer, duplicate this and select the bottom one. Change the opacity to 20% and blend mode to multiply now go to effect distort and transform and transform choose a 15 pixel and 15 pixel move values and then click ok now we need to add some pointy lines for that select the pen tool here and draw some lines like this Once you're done, select all the lines and click on the fill to remove the fill and then add a 9 point stroke. Go to the stroke and change the profile to this pointy one. Click on the flip along. Now we need to add some stars to this artwork. Select the star tool. Change the color to black and let's remove the stroke. Let's add the stars to this artwork. Add stars like this. Add some more stars. Now we need some half tone dots for that draw an ellipse of 320 pixel by 320 pixel add gradient to it okay i have added the random gradient let's go to effect pixelate and color half tone Apply these values and then click OK. Then go to Object, Expand Appearance. Then go to Image Trace and High Fidelity Photo. Then double click on it. Click on Expand. Let's remove this white. Go back and change the color to this one, this magenta color. Right click on it, arrange and send backward. We need text now. Type our text.
The font I'm using for this effect is Baby Monster. Let's increase the size. Click on None to remove the fill color. Go to Appearance and click on Add New Fill. Apply a gradient to this. Select this default black and white. Change the angle to 90. And let's add colors. Double click on this black. And apply these values. Double click on white. And apply these values. Go to appearance panel again. And duplicate this layer. Select this second layer and change the color. Then click OK. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform and apply these values. Click OK. Now again duplicate this layer. Select this last layer and change the color. Then click OK. Open the property panel and go to transform and let's change the values like this. Now again duplicate this layer, select this bottom one and change the color to black. Click OK. And go to effect, distort and transform and transform. This time click on apply new effect and put these values. Click OK. Again duplicate this layer and select the bottom one and change the opacity to 30%. Blend mode to multiply and click on transform and increase the values like this click ok now add stroke to it of six points change the stroke color to like this click this layer duplicate this open this panel click on these three lines open swatch library go to patterns basic graphics basic graphics dots and click choose any of these patterns now change the blend mode to color dodge you can also do like this To add some highlights, select pen tool and draw lines like this. Let's remove the fill color and change the stroke color to white. Change the stroke profile to this one.
so here we go here is the our final tax effect look i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have learned something please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching